or a loved one are suffering from any of the 21 report experience here creation of new existing emotions humber mage andrick Ver Verin the blue channel hey everyone my name is wama and do not forget to subscribe and like the video because that would actually help my channel a lot at boosting it into the algorithm which doesn't seem to like me right now so if you could do that that would mean a lot but in today's installment we are taking a deep dive into the blue channel today the solution is thalassin now what is very interesting is that the first video in this series actually came out back in 2018 so before kind of the analog horror scene was thoroughly established as it is now Although the video that most fans of the series are familiar with is the video called Thalassin, which came out roughly three years later in 2021. The series revolves around a medication called Thalassin that fabricates emotions within its users. However, the damage that this medication causes is extremely disturbing, and that's what we're going to be diving into today. But real quick before we get into the first episode, I did want to let you guys know that I actually have a second channel now that is completely dedicated to creepypasta readings. So if you're in the mood for long form creepy stories read to you by me, uh, yeah, check it out. It'd be great to have you over there too. The Blue Channel, Thalassin. So the first episode in this short mini-series begins by introducing us to a new phenomenon that has plagued the people of the world. And as to what this phenomenon is, it is the medication called Thalassin. Solution is Thalassin. Using our modern understanding of brain mapping, Thalassin is able to reproduce the emotions necessary for any occasion. The entire commercial is being broadcasted on a station called the Blue Channel, which we will come to learn a little bit more about as we progress through the series. The commercial continues to progress and introduces us to the disorder called AED, or Advanced Emotional Deterioration. And this disorder is identified by the following symptoms, those being lack of feeling, emotional outbursts, fog of the mind, as well as memory loss. This may be a sign of onset AED. Furthermore, going on to state that 7 out of 10 people over the age of 21 are affected by this new plague of a disorder. And if this disorder is not treated, it can also affect the quality of life of the person inflicted by it, affecting things like workplace performance, social interaction, and just general well-being. And the reason the commercial starts off this way, trying to inflict fear inside of the minds of the viewers, is to try and get them to buy the product Thalassin, which is about to be introduced to us. And given the quality of the broadcast, this is taking place somewhere in the early 2000s. And the reason that I bring this up is that in the early 2000s, people were more susceptible to fear-mongering, given that they didn't have the extensive resource of the internet. And because of the fear already inflicted in those watching the commercial, especially if you do feel any of these symptoms that are listed in the commercial, the commercial is making you want to find a solution. And that solution is Thalassin. Today, the solution is Thalassin. According to the product and, quote, modern understanding of brain mapping, the medication Thalassin can make all of these problems simply vanish because what the product does is substitute these lack of emotions with fabricated ones. Put simply, if you didn't have emotion before, Thalassin will artificially produce the emotion for you. Not only does Thalassin restore lost emotion, but patients have reported emotions at a higher and more consistent quality than ones produced non-chemically. And perhaps the most interesting part of this entire commercial is that Thalassin comes in various forms. Included in every pack of Thalassin are these common emotions. Each pill provides the user with a specific emotion. Included in each pack of Thalassin are the base emotions it can provide you. And these base emotions being happiness, sadness, anger, fear, and relief. So if you do decide to buy a pack of Thalassin by calling the number at the bottom of the screen, when it arrives, it will arrive with these base five emotions. 
So already the series is getting completely odd and very Black Mirror-esque. Being able to buy emotions at a very low cost is something that we have never seen before. Because it does make you think, at what point will these fabricated emotions get confused with your authentic ones? Also, look out for over-the-counter options. Other emotions available for purchase are the more obscure ones. Ones that you may not even want to feel. Regardless, they are at your disposal with just the swipe of a card. And it's right there when the commercial shifts into another commercial for Thalassin yet again. However, this time around, the commercial is based on a new product called Thalassin Plus. Spray mapping technology has not only allowed us to refine existing emotions, but has also allowed for the creation of new emotions and emotional experiences. With Thalassin Plus, experience emotions beyond previous natural capabilities. Now as for this product, it isn't directed towards people with the lack of emotion. Rather, it is directed towards people who aren't suffering from AED. People who are already capable of feeling emotions on their own. Tired of only experiencing natural emotions. So essentially what Thalassin Plus is doing is allowing users to experience feelings that were never possible before in our pre Thalassin world. And as for what these emotions are, they are true horrors to be seen. Emotions like degrance, humber, nage, dorsallessness. With each emotion more terrifying than the last, the list continues beyond what the brain can comprehend. Vernation, andric, ponish, harfum, kine, trantiveness, onlent, loric. These emotions were never intended for humans to experience, which is why the faces of those who were unfortunate enough to try this product are left disfigured, mangled, and simply destroyed. Emotions that the human brain is simply unable to keep up with, and thus it creates a reaction to the self that is irreversible. All of these emotions are completely indescribable because they're not any emotions that humans were ever supposed to feel in the first place. However, someone in the comments section of this video did create a description for each of the horrid emotions that I thought was fairly interesting. Degrance being a feeling of extreme sudden relief and exhaustion. Humber, shutdown of critical thought, often compared to spacing out. Most common symptom of overdose is stroke and blood from the nose. Nage, the feeling of frustration at pain, multiplied hundredfold. One user described it as, instead of stubbing your toe, it's like stubbing your whole being. Dorsallessness, a period of lack of emotions with no response to external stimuli. Andric, intense self-dissatisfaction. Varination, intense paranoia. Skin will often trout and leathery making communication difficult or nigh impossible. Complete loss of social and emotional skills is noted. Ponish, constant fight or flight response. Veins bulge and fill with increasing amounts of adrenaline. This forces the eyeball in front of the eyelid, eventually resulting in blindness from eye damage and lack of circulation. Most common cause of death is heart attack. Harfum, Intense perception of the world as a whole. Those who are able to speak often recount a feeling of knowing which should not be known. Given that most Harfum Thalassin Plus users are entirely immobile, they often starve to death within their own homes. Kine, unable to respond to the environment around them. Trantiveness, a nirvanal feeling of blooming the mind into a higher state of thought, often results in total sudden heart failure as the body cannot withstand such sudden growth. Deluge, intense fear and disgust, resulting in paralysis. Hatred of everything, including oneself, but lacking the constitution to act on it. Onlet, the complete de-evolution of the mind into a primal state. Loric, regression to a childlike state of innocence. Lowered IQ and fatigue are commonly associated. Yarivul, power and pain, bliss formed from constant agony, the acceptance not of one's death, but of one's eternal torment, the evolution of the human mind through Darwinian self-mutilation, cannibalization of thoughts and hormones to achieve 
pneumatic misery will never die. Each of these descriptions, while simply speculation, do reinstate the main idea that none of these emotions were meant to be experienced, which is why they do cause such catastrophic damage to not only the mind of the user, but to their body as well. And at this point in the series, it is unknown how many people were victims to this product, or what the release of this product did to the world as a whole. But all we can do is progress and search for more answers. The second installment in the series perhaps poses more questions than answers, but what is revealed is terrifying. The tape begins with the blue channel logo in the center of the screen. However, this time around, nothing plays on the screen. The only thing that can be heard is the faded echo of music. There are no broadcasts available. The music continues, but nothing appears on screen. Two minutes into the video and there is still nothing playing on the screen. But at two minutes and nine seconds into the video, the screen glitches. January 15th, 2021, 5 a.m. And it is here that we discover that this installment isn't a broadcast from the early 2000s. This installment in this video is a broadcast to the viewer. The entire duration of the 8 minute video is simply a blank broadcast directed to your device. And by the end of the video we are shown who was directing the broadcast. A Thalassan user standing in darkness, evidently affected by the side effects of the medication. And they have one message for the audience. You let us in. The eight minute broadcast was used to make its way inside of your device. The final installment of the Blue Channel series is incredibly unsettling and just very eerie. It is the lack of anything happening, creating a sense of uneasiness. Because at this point, whatever was in the last installment is already inside of your device. Making its way inside through the broadcast you just watched in the last video. The episode is exactly the same as the last. The only difference is... This time around, there's someone inside, and you let them in. And at the end of the video, they show their face. And then, the screen goes black. The series concludes there, with no solid conclusion. And this final episode in the Blue series leaves the series completely open-ended which is something we don't typically see in analog horror. We're introduced to medication in the first episode that fabricates emotions inside the minds of humans. Medication that causes horrible disfiguration of the face. And in the second, by watching the blue channel, we inadvertently let someone in. And by the third, they are already inside. But the question remains, who? Who did we let inside? But yeah, that pretty much does it for the Blue series. And yes, feel free to let me know your theories on the matter as to who this person could be. Perhaps the creator of Thalassan is what I thought, but I didn't really have any evidence to back that up at all. But yes, please be sure to like and comment on this video, as well as check out my second channel, which is dedicated to creepypasta readings. And yeah, I also wanted to thank my beautiful patrons, as always, Swaggy Shaggy, Nate, Sycamore Penguin, The Crow, Eternal Daisy, Inspector Dom, Miguel Mejia, Notabot, Stanifers, Kareem, Dylan, Masqueries, Robin, Anna, Kubri, Tensity, Astenia, and as always, Ten Tiny Bees. And yeah, that pretty much does it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me 
it's always super great as always you know and uh yeah i'll see you guys later love you stay safe and yeah bye a man by the name of steven kubaki was cross-country skiing in the snow near lake michigan however what became of him on that winter evening is something that no one could have predicted